Hi everyone, I'm Alana from Twinkle and this is our home learning activity booklet for children in year one designed to help support learning on the topic in science of animals and humans. The main focus for science teaching in Key Stage 1 is for children to start to observe and experience the world around them. Specifically, in year one, children will start to be able to identify a variety of animals including mammals, reptiles, fish, birds and amphibians. They'll also be taught about whether animals are carnivores, omnivores or herbivores and be able to use this vocabulary. Alongside this, they'll learn about the structure of a variety of animals, including humans, and be able to identify which part of the human body is associated with the five senses. This booklet contains lots of activities for children to start to explore animals and humans, as well as some ideas for practical activities, which will encourage children to explore the natural and human-made world around them. This first activity asks the children to identify the correct name for these animals. Depending on children's reading and phonics ability, they may be able to read these words for themselves. It's also a great chance to talk about similarities and differences between animals. For example, what does a fish have that a bird doesn't? And of course, at the end, there's the chance to colour in. This next activity follows on by asking children to identify common characteristics between the groups of animals – mammals, reptiles, birds, fish and amphibians. Children in Year 1 don't need to know all of the characteristics, but they should start to think about what animals have in common. Focus on things such as where these animals live, what they look like, and also how they give birth. At the end of the activity, there's an additional challenge, which asks children to think about more animals, for example pets or farmyard animals, and group these in the same way. In this activity, children should think about whether animals are carnivores, meat eaters, herbivores, plant eaters, or omnivores, animals which eat meat and plants. Children should be able to use and understand these three pieces of vocabulary. And understanding what animals eat will lead on to further learning about their teeth and about food chains. If your child is unsure about what any of these animals eat, it's a great opportunity to do some further research to find out for themselves. In this activity, children need to name different animal body parts. You should focus on the scientific vocabulary. For example, an animal has a paw rather than a foot. To extend this learning, you could think about animals that have the same body part. Do they have other similar characteristics? For instance, do all animals with fins live in water? It's also a great chance to talk about why animals have certain body parts. What are they used for? For instance, beaks or shells. The next activity asks children to identify parts of the human body and we've included the relevant vocabulary in order to do this. The challenge section invites children to think about similarities and differences between humans, for example height or hair or eye colour. And this activity focuses on the five senses and linking them to the different parts of the human body. Most of the senses are specific to one body part, whereas touch involves the whole body. We've also included some lovely practical activities to help your child to experience the five senses in lots of different ways. At the end of the booklet, we've included a list of vocabulary that children at this stage should be familiar with and depending on their ability, be able to read and write. The topic of animals and humans is a really engaging way to start children experiencing and exploring the world around them. I really hope you found this useful and have fun.